Hey, Tubers and Groovers, and welcome to this episode of Take the Fear Out of Gear with me, Jason Bangers. Hey, me, Mr. Chumley Warner. Have you got old equipment that's got a floppy drive that's suffering? Yeah, well, keep watching. As Joe said, have you got an old piece of equipment with a floppy disk drive in and it's, say, packed up? I suppose yeah. we should explain what sort of equipment we're talking like uh, samplers, I guess. Samplers, uh, any kind of keyboard, even like home organs. I think maybe your organ in the, in the other room has got a... Uh, yeah, it has. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be cool to do that. Yeah. So there's, there's lots of different things that need a, uh, a solution for a broken floppy drive. So we're going to show you the GoTech floppy disk drive emulator. And this is part one. We show you how to take it apart and solder the header pins in. Part one of part how many, side? Of three parts. This is part one of part three. Watch and enjoy. Right, the first thing you need to do is uh, buy your GoTech emulator from eBay or wherever you want to. See, they come in two colours. You've got black and you've got like a creamy grey colour. So depending on what you're putting it into, sampler, keyboard, etc., you can match the colour up with your original floppy drive. And the first thing you need to do before you think about any emulator software or anything like that is, if I just turn this round, we need to put some jumpers here so you can connect the programmer. All we need is three screws. So I think we've got one here. It's the same for both emulators, they're just different colours. And I think we've got one more here. And then all you do is just lift off the cover. And all we're doing is putting some header pins into this row of uh, like little sockets there. First things first, the easiest thing to do is there's just a couple of uh, jumper leads there. So if you just carefully hold the display, they just pop off like that. And then you can just, got a little LED sticking out through the front there. So if you just carefully give it a push and a wiggle, that will come out. Then you've got access to where you want to solder the header pins. These are little header pins, these ones here. They come in strips of various length and you can cut them to size. I think there's five on this one and literally all you do, there's actually six, so I'll have to cut it to size. You just drop them in the hole there and then turn it over and then solder them. Right, so you can see I've cut them to length and I've just, I haven't soldered them yet, I've just dropped them in the holes there. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, and there's two in front and then what we'll do is we'll flip the board over and we'll do the soldering. These are the back of the headers. I've soldered a couple in just to keep them in place and just see if we can uh, solder the rest in. You literally only have to touch a little bit of solder on the soldering iron, just takes seconds. And that's all you have to do. Perfect. Right, just before we put the GoTac back together. So here's the pins we've just soldered in. One, two, three, four, five, and there's two in front. Uh, these two pins on the end, what we need to do is get here. They're like little jumpers. Because these two pins here enable the GoTac to be flashed with software. So what we need to do is just carefully put a jumper on there. So that is now enabled for flashing. And then the next pin here is our transmit pin. The next pin there is our receive pin. We'll explain later, that's when you connect it to your uh, USB to serial interface. It will become clear. And at any point, if you want to reset the GoTech, these two pins on the end here, you just put a jumper on and then take it off and then it resets itself in case you have any problems. This is the floppy drive power. That pin there is your five volts. That pin there is your ground. And that's just your standard floppy drive connector, which you plug in once you've taken your old floppy drive out. So we'll put it back together. Right, we've got the board back in. So when you're putting the board back in, just make sure, just poke your LED through the hole in the front there. Put your two connectors back onto your display. And the board, actually, there's two little plastic lugs. There's that one there and that one there. And when you've positioned it in place, it just sort of clicks down into these plastic lugs there. Then you know everything's in position. Then just get your top of your GoTech, drop your screws in. 
and we'll just tighten them up. And the third one, do them sort of hand tight, they haven't got to be extra tight, otherwise you'll break the uh, plastic. There you go, if I turn that round, you can see everything's good, LEDs come through the hole nicely and obviously your uh, two little buttons there and your USB's in the right place. That's it, we're ready for the next stage which is actually flashing the GoTech floppy drive emulator. I'm sure you all agree, a very educational video, I learned a lot from that side, it's very very intuish, into, into what's the name. Really, the stuff you get these days are outstandingly good, isn't it? It is good, and you even get to see my dodgy soldering. There you go. <laughs> so there you go, tubes, it's, uh, there it is. Good. See you on the next episode, guys, from me, Jason Bangers, it's ciao. And from me, Mr. Chumbly Warner, it's goodbye.